Chapter 95 Reunion with Jeruth and Janelle By the time we spoke thus, we hit shore, and that at the very landing place of Kischonas, from where, through a big and beautiful garden, one could get to Kischonas' spacious buildings and dwellings, within which everything had been readied for our reception. Because I had already secretly notified Kischona at Barham's house that I shall be returning to his place, whereupon he at once sent home a small conveyance of messengers with instructions. And who did we run into there? Jeruth, the wealthy merchant of Sishar, who owned and occupied Esau's old castle. And Janael, the high priest of the same place with whom we have been acquainted. Both were escorted there by the angel who was with Jeruth, for they had worthy things to discuss with me. And so this indeed was a pleasant surprise of a celestial nature. These two, touched to the core with fervent joy on seeing me, were not able to utter a word. Deeply moved, they greeted me with placing their quivering hands on their chests with all the love of their hearts. But I said to them, My cherished friends and brethren, save yourselves the effort of your tongue, for the language of your hearts means more to me than a thousand ever so beautiful words spoken by the tongue, of which the heart is often only marginally conscious. First recover from your long and arduous journey. Only then do I intend to tell you, my Janelle, what you shall need to do at home against the high priest appointed by the arch-Samaritans in addition to yourself for officiating in the trivial and blind ministry at Jerusalem. But as said, you have need of first resting and recovering, so first take to rest and recovery. You, my brother Kistrona, bring them refreshment, availing yourself of the servant who escorted the two friends from Sisha. For this one is not tired, and he shall give you speedy and good services, and is an initiate to your household, as if a senior servant to you of many years. Therefore let you avail yourself of him untroubled, letting also your weary people rest a while. The day is indeed coming to an end, yet it shall not be retarding your household if the weary ones retire a little earlier than usual, for this servant shall adequately substitute for them all. Says Kistrona, That all things are possible to you, O Lord, of this I am vividly convinced and of a faith quite like unto Ahab's, our young Pharisee. But how this delicate boy, rather than youth, can not only carry out the many tasks still remaining, then serve us several hundreds as well. This, O Lord, although not doubting in the least, nevertheless baffles me exceedingly. I said, Friend, at home you are short of milk, cheese and butter whereas you have an abundant supply on your Alps. Let all your supplies first be brought down from the Alps by this servant. It serves you better if your supply is here rather than in the mountains, which shall be skimmed by a horde of wild Scythians overnight to spy them out for robbery. Says Kistrona, Ah, I am catching on. This boy is probably one like those three who served us in the Alps. I said, Well, yes. Only ask and speculate no more, or it shall be too late. Kiss Jonah quickly moves over to the youth to ask him amicably. Says the youth, Let you not be troubled, dear friend of my Lord and God. It shall all be fixed in a few moments. Because with me, here, there, or anywhere is all the same. And although I am one of the feeblest, the entire earth has to shake under the power of my feet. 
Kiss Jonah was exceedingly astonished at such talk, being unable to imagine such possibility, and in his amazement hardly noticed that with these words the youth had left the room to attend to his errand. Kiss Jonah, however, had not yet done with astonishment, and was about to ask me how such were possible, when the youth already stood before him supple, saying with a smile, Well now, you are still pondering over how such is possible, and see, I already have it under control. Even that which your scribes did not manage to record at the busy tolls today, notwithstanding their laboriousness, I managed to fill in, so that they now have leisure and are unengaged. Kiss Jonah, confounded, not knowing what to make of it, says full of astonishment. But my cherished friend, you have hardly left the room, but are supposed to have already accomplished what would take all my people together, with all their diligence, a whole week? This seems just a shade unbelievable to me. You would need to have a thousand hands and the speed of lightning. Says the youth, Well, then go out and be convinced. <laughs>